No doubt you've seen them across Fort Wayne, but have you really looked with appreciation? And we're talking about ghost signs. Have you heard of those? They're remnants of an older generation you'll find out in 21 country. Mixed in with the city's vibrant public art are fading antiques. It kind of just takes you back to a different time. It's very important, I think, that if we could get those restored, just to, to bring back some of that. People in Fort Wayne care about signs, they care about old buildings, and they watch out for things. Arch works to protect and preserve historic buildings, and in this case, what's on them. Every building owner which has a ghost sign on, its, on their building um, deserves a little respect because they have some thinking to do about it. Um, the easiest thing is just to say, I've got this cool old sign on my building, I'm going to, you know, let it say, stay there. But things can happen that means they have to address that. A scenario playing out right now at two different businesses. This mural has been here since the early 1900s when it was John H. Welch and Sons. Um, Pittsburgh Paint is obviously the advertising um, company with the name of the business underneath it. When we were looking for names um, for the restaurant, we tossed around quite a few, and then when we realized there was so much history with the building, we decided to stick with that. It is deteriorating over time, obviously weather conditions and things like that. We recently um, did some brick tucking, so that obviously affected the way it looks as well, because of the graying and stuff that you see on it now is from the work that we've been doing to preserve the brick, but we are looking to have it restored as a mural as it is. That would be really awesome. You see signs like the one on Trouble Brewing that has both Coca-Cola and the name of the business on it. I would suspect that at the time Coca-Cola made a deal with business owners that if they would put a Coca-Cola sign on the side of their building, they could also have the name of their business on it. They were getting a little bit faded out and we thought, should we go through some type of a restoration process? Most of the feedback we got was, don't do it. You'll destroy the antiquity of it or the um, just that patina look. You know, one day if it doesn't get restored, it might go away, if I had to guess. In another 20 or 30 years, it just keeps getting more and more faded. I think it's just building responsibility to keep something around that's, that's been here a lot longer than us. And um, it just adds a lot of curiosity to the building on what the past uses were for it. And though many remain legible for decades, others have nearly disappeared. Paint fades, bricks weather. These signs do change over time. An important reminder to treasure the history still standing today. The sign may be the only indication left of the building's original use. They can be just be beautiful works of art in and of themselves. And they can be local landmarks. No, one, no, no place else has Fort Wayne's history. It's our story. It's, and the, 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 the cool things about it, the interesting things about it, the special things about it are ours to celebrate and to enjoy and to know. I'm going to be looking around now when I'm yeah. driving, right? Yeah. Uh, Connie haas there tells us Arch is willing to help anybody who has an historic building with a ghost sign in the preservation process. Now, she shared a few of those guidelines with us, and you can find those and the locations of the ghost signs we found in that story there. It's on our website, WPTA21.com.